So I talked about gluing up some blocks. So sometimes what I do is I'll leave wood out and then start gluing it up like this. So here are some pieces I've set aside. They were nice pieces. They weren't wide enough for what I was doing. And I glue them up. So here's another set. And then after I get a few glued up, I set them in a pile. And when I've got the planer out, then I start planing them off. So here's some that I just planed off. You can see how just beautiful how they look and just great. So what I'll do now is I'll take the saw and just trim the ends. I like having them longer. You see how some are short and then some are long? I like having a couple longer ones in there, one or two, because that keeps the planer level. As it's coming towards the end, the planer tends to dip a little bit. So that dipping is going to occur in here in this range. And I think you can see it on one of these, depending on how I'm holding the board as I'm going through on this planer, if I hold up a little bit. Okay, right here is one. Well, I don't know if you can see that, but right here it dips a little bit. Yeah, probably can't tell, but you can feel it though. So that's where it's nice. So the dip is right there. So if I cut it right here, I, I don't have that dip in there. The dip's right in here. So on this planer, about two inches long. So probably my dip would have been here. But I was probably holding up on it just right, so it didn't do it. But it tends to do that. So when you're doing that, and I, I just take off like a quarter of a turn on the planer, just like maybe even a little less than that at a time because in here you have grain going every which way so you just want to take off a little bit and I also should point this out so when you're planing one of the things to look out for you see how this is nice like nice and rolled it's like a little roll that's really nice see how it's I don't know if you can tell but it's like a little rolled up piece of wood that means the planer is nice and sharp. You're not taking off too much. The grain of the wood is slightly slanted up probably. And it's just rolling the wood right off. And that gives you a really nice smooth finish. So that's what you're really looking for. When you get the little kind of the broken, little chunky, and you can hear a difference in the sound of the planer. When it's a little chippy sound, it's kind of going against the grain. And maybe you have no choice. You can't always go to have the grain just right because the grain changes throughout the board. But when it's rolling, it's like a smoother sound. So that makes a big difference. But So now what am I going to do with these? These are for a future project. I don't know. These might be a shelf. They might be, I'm not sure. But we're going to trim them up and hopefully we'll have room on our, our um, block area here, which is pretty full. Well, we got some room on top there. I guess I need to get using some of them. And it's just better than, I don't hate to burn some of these pieces that are so nice. And they do make really nice cutting boards and cheese boards and other things. And I do have some more ideas. Okay, let's, um, we've planed all this off and time to trim the edges.